Matt Shane Starnes here with DroidModerX.com. Today I'm going to show you guys the Liquid Smooth ROM. This is release candidate 7 for Jelly Bean devices. Well, I shouldn't say Jelly Bean devices. This is their Jelly Bean build release candidate 7. So they've really come a long way since their first Jelly Bean release. Most of the bugs have been completely removed here. As you can tell, this thing runs very smoothly. Uh, this is on the liquid launcher. It does fly. It's very, very fast. The launcher itself is not as fast as probably an Apex launcher or a Nova launcher, uh, but it's still very, very fast. And I'll show you guys the app drawer, just how fast the app drawer moves. So you guys can see, and this is not overclocked at all, and it's still running in incredibly fast. Uh, so a few things here, it is themed as you guys can tell, it is themed with a liquid theme and uh, we have our application icons that have been themed here and we have some wallpapers that you would have to download separately and in order to, uh, in order to actually use those you'd have to go to your gallery and open your liquid walls that you've extracted and then you could uh, use your liquid smooth wallpapers. So what we should probably do is go ahead and jump into settings and I'll show you guys all the different customization features uh, about this ROM. Of course I did mention that it's on the liquid launcher and this is just a modified version of Trebuchet so that, or Launcher 2 I should say. Um, you have some different settings here. The grid size can be changed. You can have uh, more rows and columns for your apps and you can change the number of home screens there. You can enable or disable the persistent search bar and you can also choose to resize widgets so if we add a widget to the home screen uh, we'll take bookmarks for instance if we add that to any screen we will be able to resize that like so so that is a pretty neat little feature and then you have the auto rotate feature as well uh, so that you can go ahead and rotate the device like so and I believe that will even go upside down it will so that's included in the launcher to the liquid launcher as well so if we go back into settings you probably saw the theme chooser there now this you can use any signage of my 10 or AOKP theme in this theme chooser you would just download those from the market install them and then they'll come up in this theme chooser menu and you can just apply them. Then of course you have the liquid splasher. This is where all the custom uh, all the customizations take place and there's several several to choose from. In fact you could probably be in there for an hour uh, just customizing your ROM the way that you like it. Of course there is the about button and this is going to tell you all about the liquid team. Of course it'll give you donate links if you want to donate to individuals in the team. It gives you a link to their website so you want to check that part of the ROM out as well. And then uh, we'll go into interface. There's some options in the display. Uh, you can enable rotation. Of course, the launcher includes that already, so you don't have to use that one. There's some notification light settings. Of course, you can change. Um, in, you can add applications here and choose a custom notification light for those like Twitter, for instance. You could add one or Gmail. I have red since Gmail's red. If we look here, we can actually test that, and you guys can see what it looks like. So we'll turn the screen off so you can see what that looks like. Well, it flashed once. There it goes. So that's what that looks like. And then, of course, you can change your missed calls, your voicemails, and uh, just your default, uh, your default notification light. You can change that as well. You can change the transparency there. You can also change your carrier. I always go with Droid Modder X. You can enable the kill all button. Uh, IME switcher, you can disable the boot animation for a quicker boot up time, then you can force the tablet UI there as well, that's pretty cool. Uh, in lock screen, there's several options to choose from. You can change the wallpaper for your lock screen background. Uh, you can align the clock, so if we go into the lock screen, you see that I've aligned it center and I've also enabled uh, the weather options there on the lock screen. You can change the text color on your lock screen, so if I wanted to go uh, to more of a red, I could do that. Now my text will be red, like so. And then we'll go back to blue. You can enable the weather calendar, and uh, there's some security 
options there we can a enable a pin or face unlock shortcuts you can add custom shortcuts to the lock screen of any application like say the browser hit the save button there and then that'll take you straight to the browser navigation this gives you the ability to customize your nav bar. Uh, if you're on like a Samsung Galaxy S3, you have the capacitive buttons, so you wouldn't really need to enable the nav bar. But on a phone like the Galaxy Nexus, of course, you do need that nav bar, and you can customize it. I have mine kind of set up like the Galaxy S3. You can see my menu, home, and then the back button in that order, just because I've come so accustomed to using my Galaxy S3. Of course, you can add custom buttons, so if you wanted to change the recent... I'm sorry, if you wanted to change the back button here, you could change that to a custom application. And let's say we wanted to go with YouTube there. We could apply that and that would change that to the YouTube app. I'm going to go back and change that to the back button. You can change the number of nav bars you can change the height to give yourself some more screen real estate you can make it super tiny and give yourself lots of screen real estate or you can make it the regular size which would give you a little less screen real estate you can change the color of the nav bar this would be the entire background of the nav bar and then you could just go back and restore the nav bar The power menu, that would be whenever you press the power, it brings up the full reboot menu. You can change the toggles that are included there. Now, this the sound option is where you can set your quiet hours. So if you wanted your phone to have zero notifications from 10 o'clock at night to 6 o'clock in the morning, you could set that up here. Uh, you can also... I choose the different types of ringtones and a cool feature here is that you can turn on the face down audio mode so whenever you receive a call you just turn your phone face down and the ringer would turn completely off that's a pretty neat feature toggles this would be the drop down notification toggles you have two options here you could either go with the toggles or you can go with the power menu uh, or the power widgets here there's not as many uh, customization options in the power widgets you see it's just the widgets like so. So I always just go with the regular toggles. You can choose which toggles you'd like to enable. Then you can change the order like so. And you can change the layout. So probably one of my favorite toggles here is the fast charge and the torch and the LTE. And another one that I like is the uh, Wi-Fi Tether app because it keeps me from having to go into my settings and turn the uh, Wi-Fi Tether on. I could just toggle it on from the drop-down toggles. Of course, I normally just go with the standard toggles because it takes up less room in my drop-down notifications. You can change your colors here. You can change your brightness there. In the status bar, you can actually enable the brightness control so if you check that if you press and hold your notifications you can change your brightness like that that's probably the coolest feature there of course you do have battery icons you can go with text only like I have here now disregard the way that my battery is draining during this video uh, this is an older stock battery I've replaced my battery twice and this is the older stock battery I've been using this all day and I was at 53 and since I began this video, I'm already down to 47, so you can see how quickly and how old this battery is. So pay that no mind. Liquid RC7 has actually been getting some of the best battery life uh, of all the ROMs lately as far as people reporting their battery usage. Somebody got 15 hours with 5 hours of screen on time, still have 1%, so that's pretty darn good for a stock battery. Uh, you can also add the battery bar. You can change your clock style to center. And you can add a day of the week and change all your colors here as well. And also the notification counts so whenever you have your emails. It'll tell you, you know, how many emails have come in. So that's pretty nice to have. Performance. This is where you're going to overclock. Uh, you can do your USB fast charge there. And then your processor. That's where you'll overclock. 
Right now I just have it at stock 1200 megahertz, but you can go all the way to 1650 megahertz or 1.65 gigahertz. Uh, should still be pretty stable at that, but it's going to eat through your battery very quickly. I feel like it runs perfectly at stock uh, 1.2 gigahertz, so that's probably where you'll want to keep it. Uh, you could go up to 1350 and you will notice a slight enhancement in the speed and performance without really killing your battery. You do have some governors here as well. Uh, I would just stick with the one that it comes with, the interactive governor. And then you have some startup tweaks there as well. In all, this is a pretty solid ROM. Uh, it is very fast. And like I said, li the Liquid team has really removed most of the bugs. You're not going to notice any bugs, or at least I've not noticed any bugs yet. Uh, the Wi-Fi tethering works perfectly on this. Battery life is supposed to be superb. I'm not a good judge of that because I use my phone all day, every day. And in this particular phone, um, using the stock battery and it's old, most people are reporting that they're getting great battery life out of this liquid smooth ROM. So you'll definitely want to check this out. Head to the link in the description, download the ROM and the G apps. And if you want the wallpapers, you should go ahead and download those as well. And then we'll just reboot into recovery to install. So this is going to be a very easy install. You will just wipe, factory reset, swipe to wipe, cache, swipe to wipe, Davit cache, swipe to wipe. Then you go back and install the Liquid RC7. So Liquid Jelly Bean version 2.0 RC7 Toro first. Swipe to wipe and then you'll go back and choose the G app. Swipe to wipe. You will not flash the wallpapers. You'll actually go into your file manager, unzip those, and then you can uh, choose those from your gallery. When all that's finished, you'll just reboot the phone. Now in RC7, there is a new... Uh, boot animation so you want to check that out I'll leave you guys with the boot animation uh, for more of me you can check out droidmotorx.com where I'll have the latest in Android and tech news be sure to subscribe to this channel by clicking the button right about there uh, be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmotorx I do giveaways from time to time pretty much every other week is when I've been doing giveaways on my Twitter handle so you want to be following me there uh, if this video has helped you in any way be sure to give it a big thumbs up thanks guys for watching I'll see you in the next one